welcome to the pharma toppers and today we are going to discuss about the important point on the chapter of, uh, to the chapter of parenteral such as quality control in parenteral the most commonly four types of test which are carried out on sterile parenteral products these are sterility testing pyrogen test particular matter test and liquor test these are more commonly used test for that parenteral product in case of sterility test which are going to uh, predict that whether the product is sterile or not in case of pyrogen test we are determined the whether the pyrogen present in our test sample or not in case of particular testing we are seen that we are we check in the our solution that whether the free from particulate matter or not or in case of leakage test we determine the any type of leakage present in our ampoules or container which are used for the parent product in first that is sterility test and first of all what is in by sterility sterility is a complete absence of all viable microorganism which are present in the cells means in our parent product what type of product we are going to use and this product is free from the viable microorganism and for this detection of sterility test sterility we can use two method first of all direct transfer method and second in membrane filtration method these are these are some media commonly used in media for the sterility testing the three different media which are used for the sterility testing such as first of all fluid thiocyclate medium then alternative fluid thiocyclate medium and soybean case digest in each media we are used different ingredient such as so in case of fluid thiocyclate medium sodium chloride dextrose pancreatic digest case in yeast case extract agar sodium thiocyclate reserve and lcst and distilled water and in case of alternate thiocyclate medium same that is sodium chloride dextrose but here is not agar and reserve is not used and in case of soybean case in digest medium the two main important ingredients such as diabetic potassium phosphate and pepec digest of soybean these are used for the cell testing some important point of of the media in which that fluid thiocyclate media primarily used for the anaerobic type of bacteria and soybean case in digest media is primarily used for the fungi and aerobic bacteria for the <coughs> for all the media the ph can be maintained to the 7.1 and if it is ph low then it can be adjusted by the point on normal of noh and all these media can be sterilized by atoclave these are two types of diluting fluid uh, diluting fluid used in the uh, diluting fluid used in the media first type 1 is bacterial pectin in distilled water and type 2 is is bacterial pectin 0.1% in polysorbate and this mixing in distilled water and coming to the next slide membrane filtration what we know that what is in by membrane filtration means a uh, filter paper is there that is 0.22 micron size and diameter is 47 mm during the filtration the more uh, the particle size which is more than 0.22 micron that are retained on the filter paper and lower than that it can be passes into the solution and this membrane filtration can be carried out under the vacuum <coughs> and whatever whatever the particles or whatever the microorganisms which are retained on the filter paper these filter paper cut into two halves and one half is dissolved in the fluid thiocyclate medium and second one is uh, soybean case in digest medium and these after dissolution and this can be incubated for the 7 days and result are evaluated and second method is direct trans method in which our preparation or test sample is directly incubated for the uh, 7 14 days and whatever quantity may be take whatever quantity of the take or whatever quantity of ingredients these are specified by the indian pharmacopeia and at the end there is no growth of bacteria then show then it shows that there is a absent no growth in bacteria this passes the test and if it found that the growth of bacteria is there then retest period retest test is carried out for the 20 samples and here the different types of test microorganism used for the different medium and different types of condition 
that different types of microorganisms are used in case of aerobic condition these are commonly three types of microorganisms used that is staphylococcus aureus bacillus subtilis pseudomonas aeruginosa in case of anaerobic bacteria that is clostridium sporogenes in case of fungi candida albicans and aspergillus brasiliensis and here on the right side there are different types of medium is used for this media the different types of microorganisms are used in case of ftm bacillus subtilis candida albicans and bacteroids vulgatus is used in alternate to thigloid media bacteroids vulgates and in case of cervicus and digest media bacillus subtilis and candida albicans these are used and coming to the next test that is pyrogen test this pyrogen test can be carried out by two methods first rabbit test and sham test sham test is a preliminary method that screening of the rabbit is carried out means what type of condition or what type of criteria should be required to carry out this test this sham test that predict the criteria and in the in this test the presence of pyrogenic material in the rabbit that show the increase the body temperature of it means if it is pyrogen is present then the temperature of the rabbit is automatically increases we this we know that the pyrogen product are the metabolism of the microorganism and commonly they are carbohydrate nature in which they have both gram positive and gram negative but gram negative microorganisms are the most potent pyrogen and rabbit is chosen for the pyrogen test because the physiological response given by the rabbit is same as case of human in this case we just sample a test sample can test sample which are going to prepare this are inject to the uh, rabbit to detect the pyrogen how we can determine if the body temperature after giving that if the body temperature of the rabbit is increases then it is con- and it confirms that there should be presence of pyrogen and these are the some uh, procedure which are followed by this uh, determining the pyrogen in rabbit first of all the temperature within device that is thermometer and thermometer uh, is used this device we can insert the rectum of the rabbit at the depth of 7.5 cm and measure the temperature after that our test solution which are injected that should be prepared at the 37 degree celsius and this this warmed temperature that is which can inject the rabbit by using uh, marginal air vein of three different rabbits and after giving that some time of interval we again check the rectal temperature by using temperature measuring device at differential time interval that is 1 hour 2 or 3 hour and after finally conclusion that if the rabbit shows the increase in temperature that show the presence of pyrogen in that body uh, present in the body or in present in the solution there is some range is given for that is rabbit that is the combined temperature of three rabbit is more than 1.4 percent then it confirms that there should be pyrogen present in our test solution and individually individually the uh, the rabbit contain uh, rabbit the body temperature increased by the 0.6 percent it also confirms that there should be present of pyrogen if it is pyrogen is present in the test sample then this also can be repeated for the five animals and coming to the next is this bacterial endotoxin test is the specifies into the lar test this lar test is used full for the determine the bacterial endotoxin in our in the test solution this is the, this is this is the in vitro method because method and the pyrogen test which are going to use this is in vivo method and these are five to 10 more times more sensitive than the pyrogen test in this method it is based on the gelling property of the lysates of amniocytes of lyme mollusks that is polyphemus that is an horseshoe crabs the large reagent large reagent which are going to use for that these are the protein in nature and it is available from the life life form one of the important property of the large reagent is that if the test sample containing the endotoxin is present this react with to the endotoxin and formation of foam gel is the property of the large reagent on the basis of that we can carry out the test in this case in this test our test sample is we can incubate at the 37 degrees celsius for 1 hours and 
of uh, before that we can add large region to the test sample test sample at the end formation of firm gel is there then the test is positive for that means a firm gel is found then there is confirmed that there is a formation of the uh, presence of the bacterial endotoxin and these are some procedure or this is a mechanism how the endotoxins and gems gels are formed that is preclotting enzyme is present in lysate which give contact with the endotoxin that activate the clotting enzyme after that coagulation occur and the protein that is lal reagent is proteinous nature and this form clotable protein and finally gem gels are formed Coming to the next slide, that is the clarity test. Clarity test is used for the determine the particulate matter present in the our solution. These are two types of tests. First of all, visual inspection and electronic particle counting. In visual inspection, we can determine by visually by using eye. If if it is seen that the particles, then we can reject. But there is some methods or there is some key points is there, such as in white background aids. white backgrounds the dark colored particles are easily shows and the shine particles or reflective particles can be seen against black background and second method is electronic particle counting in this method we measure the particle injectables mechanically but the problem is that the destruction of the ato samples other than this method we can uh, membrane filtration method electrolysis method and light obstruction obstruction method this can also use for the determine the particular uh, particulate matter these types of uh, method we based on the light scattering light absorption and electrical resistance for use to determine the particle count and crystal distribution coming to the next slide as a leak test this leak test is determine the where whatever uh, whether the ampules are leak showing leakage or not and this type of le uh, leak test carried out two method is there first is diabath method in which the methylene blue indicator used that in 5.5 concentration and one percentation of and vacuum should be applied to the 7 mm of hg for 15 minutes and here the filled ampules with our uh, solution as parental solution and is placed in the tray and i apply to the vacuum and this vacuum is helps to penetrate the dye into the ampules on the broken side <coughs> and after that remove the ampules the test solution is colored then it is then it is confirmed that it should be leakage of container in case of double vacuum method this is same method but here blotted paper we can going to use here if the spot or wet spot occur to the that blotted paper then it confirm that they are defective ampules and thank you for more videos you can log on to